I'm back on the trading floor of the New York Stock Exchange with Sandra Navidi. Sandra, thank you so much for being with us again. Thank you for having me, Dan. Uh, can you give us a general overview of Russia's economy as it stands in the world right now? Yeah, I think the outlook for Russia's economy is pretty weak, and that is primarily because it's based on oil, and at the, as the oil price is set to decrease because more oil is coming to the market through Iran, Libya, and the U.S., it's going to pull the rug from the economy. We already see a um, big capital flight from Russia that is hard to reverse once it starts. Will the Olympics contribute to growth? Well, the Olympics are very expensive. They cost $50 billion. That's very hard to make up through income. But I, So I think if it breaks even, that's already optimistic. But I think the purpose really was also to show, to, inc to improve the image that Russia has in the world and to show that it can execute complex projects. And uh, will the Olympics, do you think, contribute to uh, the attractiveness of Russia for foreign investors and business? Well, I think the PR hasn't started out on its best foot. We're seeing a lot of journalists who haven't been put up in, in good rooms or tweeting this to the world. And there are a lot of things that go wrong. I mean, the, the whole place has been started from scratch uh, with bridges and speed with highways. So I think there's a lot of potential for things to go wrong. And so it may be a sh a sh shot in the foot. Will you be going to Sochi? No, I think there are too many risks and unknowns, um, challenges of an infrastructure nature, transport, housing, and also security. Thank you very much for your time, Sandra. Thank you for having me, Dan.